How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. As if winning every game this season wasn't enough for the UH Warrior football team, today they won almost every major postseason conference award, too. For the second straight season, quarterback Colt Brennan was named the Western Athletic Conference's Offensive Player of the Year. Brennan is third in the nation in passing efficiency, throwing for 4,174 yards and 38 touchdowns, more importantly, leading Hawaii to a 12-0 record. And because of that record and the Sugar Bowl bid that came with it, head coach June Jones was also named the WAX Coach of the Year for the second season in a row. It's his third such honor, the first coming back in 1999. And in an unprecedented move, WAC Commission Commissioner Carl Benson created a special award, the Offensive Unit of the Year, given to Hawaii in an effort to recognize not only Brennan, but also his receivers per Colts request. The win itself and the way the season ended, you know, any award we get right now is just icing on the cake. Um, but by far the most exciting thing I saw was um, that special uh, unit award that went out. And, um, you know, to, for me to, I missed two games, got knocked out of two games. You know, I, I, I'm a little confused sometimes how, you know, I could got the WAC award, you know, when uh, my receivers and, and the whole offense did what they did this year. So I'm excited that the WAC put together that award because they definitely deserve it. You know, that's pretty cool that, you know, they made a award just for us, a team. And um, it pretty much, you know, just shows exactly what this, you know, what, what this been the whole year, a team. You know, giving that positive energy to us, you know, uh, you know, makes this team unselfish. You know, everybody is about putting the next guy in front of ourselves. Eleven Hawaii players made the all-WAC first team, five on offense, five on defense. Offensively, if you watched for that split second, you saw all the names. Brennan was there along with receivers Devon Bess and Ryan Grice Mullins, O-lineman Hercules Satele, and sophomore center John Estes. Receiver Jason Rivers made the second team. On D, right there, lineman David Vecune and Michael Lafaele, linebacker Solomon Elamimian and Adam Leonard, and defensive back Myron Newberry. Defensive player of the year, by the way, was Fresno linebacker Marcus Riley. Remember him, the guy who left Colt Brennan concussed? and Dan Kelly was the first team kicker. June Jones stirred up a bit of controversy though yesterday. On ESPN's coverage of BCS Selection Sunday, Jones was discussing Colt Brennan's Heisman chances when he made a reference to Florida quarterback Tim Tebow. He called Tebow a quote system quarterback, more so he says than Brennan. Jones went on to say that Brennan could run any system and he wasn't sure if Tebow would be able to run the Warriors run and shoot, adding that Tebow's quote, not a natural passer. It was taken by some in the national media to be a public slight of a QB who's thrown for over 3,100 yards and 29 touchdowns, as well as running for 22 scores. Jones says the intention wasn't to diss Tebow, but to show just how good Brennan truly was. Great quarterback, probably win another national championship. He's competitive, he's all those things. But a lot of his stuff comes off little, you know, dive fakes and all different kinds of things that he's not going to do in the National Football League. And I'm going to say it again and stand by what I said. My quarterback is the best college football player in America. The bottom line is uh, I irritated him because they knew I was right. Hawaii, of course, visits Florida to open next season. As for the Heisman uh, Trophy, Brennan should find out if he's a finalist by Wednesday. But the focus right now, of course, is on the Sugar Bowl, New Year's Day against Georgia in the Superdome in New Orleans. It will air live right here on KHON2. And Monday 